don't roll up 10 men up to CVS or like with your entourage yeah I need like 15 people to come with me to the grocery store because I heard their safety in numbers like extra.com chill you don't have to do that but let people know where you are Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about safety when you are away, maybe traveling, working. I'm going to do it in the scenario of being cabin crew because that's what I do and that's majority of the time that's why I'm away. But please do take um, any safety aspect for it and put it into your situation. So if you're going away or if you travel but for a different reason. It, um, it applies to everybody before I go ahead do me a favor please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and also press the bell so you can be notified every time I bring out a new video so let's get started so, me being crew every time I enter a room I always do a quick check of the room I check underneath the bed um, a good tip that I was taught is if you have an apple in your room maybe you can put an apple underneath and if the apple goes all the way through there's no one underneath there um, I always check like the shower is a good one i check the shower i check um, my wardrobes also check to make sure there's no signs of anyone else having that room because um as crew they have specific crew rooms that they give out to crew um and sometimes they may double book you it's never happened to me before but i've been told that it could happen so i always check to make sure i'm not in someone's room because it might be a bit of a fright if someone walks in the room and i'm just there in my robe and i just check to make sure like my my door locks properly um so make sure my door's working properly and i just have a quick sweep and another thing i would say is always book everything that you do via the hotel so use the concierge I'm that annoying person that really utilizes the concierge and the concierge have like honestly they're from that land or that country and they there's so many things that you wouldn't have, you can't get on google that they will tell you because i'm a google girl like i will google everything what to do here what to do there but sometimes when you talk to an actual local things that you have thought of doing or you, it's just not really like widely acclaimed sometimes it's cheaper like just go for a walk down this road and you go and get the best views in the hotel i will book my cab if i don't have uber i would always book it through the hotel or it has to be a licensed cab driver because i'm not i'm not trying to go out like that and safety in numbers try and do things in groups because it's just safer to be with four other people than to be by yourself and you just feel more confident that's what i do anyway when i'm with a group of people um who speak the same language as me because sometimes you go to a country and you don't speak their language and they don't speak a word of your language so it's just i don't know it's a bit more comforting to be around people who understand you fully and you can both be there like i'm trying to say blah 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 blah, blah together and it's just safe like I said, safety in numbers. If you do go off by yourself, let someone know. On WhatsApp, there's this share your location. If I can't remember where I've parked my car, which most times I don't remember, I will share my location with some black kids. Just, just so that I remember I parked my car. So use it, utilize it. Like we live in an age of technology and there's so many great things to use to help you stay safe. Normally, we always have a group chat when we go down route. Down route is, by the way, when you're away from base. So the time you spend away from base or that's your down route because you're on route back home. <laughs> I think I made that up, but that's what I'm going to say it means. But anyway, so yeah, when I'm down route, we normally have like a WhatsApp group. So I would like normally message in there, like, hey guys, going to the mall. Uh, if you want to come along, just so that people know where you are. Most of the time I'm in bed. If I'm tired, I'm like, <sighs> yeah, okay. I wish I had the energy, but yeah. Do that safety in numbers though that like that's key safety in numbers i'm not trying to really encourage you to go out by yourself because i feel like you should go out with someone but sometimes i'm um, obviously don't roll up 10 man up to cvs or like with your entourage yeah i need like 15 people to come with me to the grocery store because i heard their safety in numbers like extra.com chill you don't have to do that but let people know where you are even if you're like on a holiday with your friends like your partner 
let the other person know where you are because you're in a foreign country. It's just, it's worrying. Uh, yeah, don't use dodgy people outside trying to sell you things. Like if you wanted to do an excursion, book it through like a, a renowned vendor or the hotels. Because one, yeah, you pay maybe a bit more, but I rest in knowing I've paid a bit more and it's safer. Like it's a lot more legitimate um, than a random person standing on the beach saying, yeah, you want to go scuba dive, you want to go this. How do you know that they haven't just gone and bought one any snorkel? Look, I've got big plans for my life. I'm not trying to go out like that. So I don't know about you, but try and prolong your life, okay? That's not how my story's ending. Nah, -uh, honey. Not to save myself a quick 20 pound, no. Be mindful of where you decide to go. So don't just say that, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to, I don't know, to a park, a derelict park in the middle of the night. It doesn't matter even if there's 10 of you, that cancels out safety in numbers. Even if there's 10 of you, don't do it, that's not safe. <laughs> like, be sensible about where you go. Be um, aware of your surroundings as well, because sometimes you might be in a rough area. <coughs> Try not to go in a rough area. If somewhere in as well, trust your gut. Like there's been time, there was one time that I was in Miami um, with two, uh, three other crew. One was like a friend of mine because we had, we've done quite a few trips together and we're friends now. Um, and we was walking, 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 walking. And it started looking really, one of the people was wanting to go for a walk, but it just looked scary. And was like, I'm not being funny, but it don't look safe here. And you just start to just, get a vibe and you just trust your gut we just jumped in an uber and we was like let's get out of here i'm not walking any further because i just don't feel safe um yeah like trust your gut because you you trust me i'm a big believer in your gut i just feel like if something feels wrong it feels wrong even down to food if you go somewhere and the food looks like rank it looks horrible and you just you can see the salmonella like with your own eyes you don't need a microscope for it just be like guys i'm about i'm bowing out i've got fruit bar in my room and don't eat it because you'll be happy the next day when everyone's telling you that their stomach is hurting them and they've been in and out of the toilet saying you good because you ate your fruit bar. so yeah basically that's all the safety tips i have for you today uh, thank you for watching guys please 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 stay safe like it's i'm all for traveling and exploring but it's not worth it if it's not safe so keep yourself safe always and um like comment and subscribe thanks for watching guys